Hello everyone. It's Maddie Rose of Spectrum Art. And we have a really fun a special video. video. That's right. Today we're going to we're be making beautiful candles. Making candles, that is correct. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and show you the tools we're going to need and as the process. as well as the process, correct. And I am uh, doing a free hold on the camera, so hopefully not too much shaking going on today. Uh, but um, the first thing that we did was what? We uh, gathered our tools. We gathered our tools and we made sure that we what? Covered the table. Cover the table because it can get messy. You could get wax all over your counters. Um, okay, and then you want to share some of the books that we've yeah. been looking at as this well? This is a candle book. It is. This is. Tells you a little bit about candle making and the history and how uh, the science uh, behind candles. Really fun book for um, kids. What else? This is my cooking, I mean, sorry, my candle making book. Yep, this is her journal in which she's going to be documenting, um, you know, the different what? Candles and oils. Candles and oils and preparation and things that we're going to learn. And This is a candle making book. Right, this is another great book that we are um, reading through so we can learn more about the history yep. and uh, some tips. So I highly recommend all three of these. Okay. Okay, this is a stainless steel melting, um, uh, melting? Pot, melting pot. Mm -hmm. This is a thermometer. All right, so you're gonna need a melting pot, right? Yep. Um, because you're gonna use it uh, to, to melt your, your, wax. your wax, correct. The next tool you're going to need a thermometer. A thermometer, right? Um, the next thing you're going to need is the wax. Wax, and these are chips, right? Uh, they sell them in blocks as well, but we thought this would probably melt a lot faster than um, using a big block. Right. Then the next thing you're going to do are your oils. Is select some oils, some scents that you, um, you know, combinations. Unfortunately. Hmm? need for your process that you're going to need for your process correct to give your candle some of that delicious scent it smells right mm -hmm. and that's the fun part where you get to play with all kinds of different scents what this else is sticks for your uh, the, jars the wicks correct yeah. then you're also going to need the bow tie clips yeah bow tie clips i guess now what's the difference between a bow tie clip and a stirring stick this is you can put your your um thing through here. Your wick, correct. That's right. what holds the wick Hold in place, correct? Like this. Right, perfect. Thank you. All right, it goes like this. Oh, you got it. All right, next you're going to need some what? Uh, metal tin jars. Some jars, and they could be recycled jars, right? Mm -hmm. You could use tin. Uh, these we got on um, Amazon, mm -hmm. and they're really pretty glass jars, so we're going to try those and see how those you work. You can also put some decorations on you could add decorations like dried flowers and stuff yeah. um, and we even have some colors right yeah. so we're going to try that um later on but for this being our first attempt we're going to keep them or you can also put some napkins on the outside oh yeah <gasps> we might have to do that smart cookie and then you need some um stirring sticks correct so this, these are the tools that you're going to need, and then we're going to go ahead and walk you through the process. We went ahead and um, added the wax to our melting pot. Uh, we started with one bag and realized that that did not look like it was going to go a long way, so we decided to add a second bag. Um, one thing that we went ahead and uh, learned a lot was just how much uh, or how little is going to be needed. So that was great. We also learned um, that we forgot to mention that you're going to need a secondary pot and some water because you're going to be um, heating up that wax in there. Um, the desired temperature is 185 degrees. So um, you want to go ahead and not over boil it and not under either so just keep an eye out uh, and make sure you wait till it reaches 185. A couple of things that we learned as well is that um, you want to add wax gradually as it's melting. We ended up actually using two pounds, believe it or not, of um, soy wax chips um, to make the containers that we did and we also learned that you want to fill the pot all the way up to the top with water uh, so that all the sides are actually heated um, evenly but patience is key so while we were waiting for that we went ahead and madison prepared the jars 
using her bow ties and her uh, wicks, uh, she went ahead and placed them in her jars and containers and got them ready for the next step. Um, the next step, of course, is going to be adding oils. And you wanna play with those scents. You um, Some oils are thicker than others, so you wanna make sure when you're pouring and counting that you're keeping an eye on that. And uh, in Madison's case, she meticulously journaled um, how much of each she used in case we want to replicate um, that same candle we um, can. Uh, and here she is adding different scents and we kind of smelled them and some were stronger than others. Um, so you want to keep an eye on that as well. But we gave it a good stir. Make sure you do stir them well because they are oils. So you want to make sure they're mixed. And then she went ahead and poured them into our jars um, and centered the wicks. This is a different type of bow tie. This one's metal. Um, so we had two different kinds. We had the wooden ones and the metal ones, but they're all basically the same um, idea. Uh, and once again, she went ahead and poured. On this one, she actually added a little bit of pine, uh, which she documented as well, just to kind of, again, play with those scents and see, hmm, what's it gonna be like? And finally, we just wait for them to sit overnight and harden. Yes. But the process was so... So much fun. It was so much fun. We hope you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. We hope you guys will try it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Have a blessed day. Bye.